What up, YouTube? This is another very interesting part of my building an Unraid uh, server using consumer parts. These are um, not consumer parts, actually uh, enterprise parts, building a server. And if you guys have been following me at all, you will know that one of the things that I've been trying to do with this is cut down on a number of NASs. I actually have two NASs running, a QNOP NAS, and then I have Windows Home Server living on a NAS. And um, my goal is to get rid of both the um, QNAP NAS and the uh, Windows NAS. And the reason why I want to do that is to cut down on space, hard drive, and everything else that goes along with it. So the goal here is to, um, is to use the VMs as um, a, a way of um, having the, the Windows nas without actually having the the nas itself the uh, windows nas itself let me get to the issue of this video and this video is about the windows server vm and how to set that up just a little background i used to have windows home server 2011 it was excellent at least for the one thing, which is to back up all my computers. Since I had used that, I'd had a number of occasions where I actually needed that to back up my computer and actually um, do the job that uh, I bought it to be. So it was, it was, it's a fantastic piece of uh, of software to have to back up all the computers so that you know you're all good and not going to, um, if you have a crash, if you have a hard drive crash, if you have any kind of crash, that you're not going to be stuck out there in the wind. Here's the, here's the thing with that, um, you can just add it to your network, it's all good, it ready to, it's ready to go, you just install the necessary software onto all of the client machines, and it connects to the network machine, and you just set up a backup, and it will do its backup, its thing. So, Windows Home Server, depreciated what three years ago two years ago whatever they they just stopped working with it almost as soon as not long after i actually purchased the license like a year later or so very depressing so i've had to go to windows server 2016 and use that instead here's the problem with windows server 2016 adding it to a home network it cannot be done. It must be what is called the root controller, the domain controller. So in this case, I have Windows uh, Server Essentials, and um, it as and and I've you know many a website has 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 it as as you can see here. Um, everyone runs into this problem if you're using it for just PCs for ba PC backup. If you are using adding your um, Windows Home Server, uh, the Windows um, Server 2016, it's going to interfere. It is not going to work because it's going to want its own domain. It's going to want it. It wants to be at the head. It wants to send out your DNS to all your devices. It wants to be at the head of the root. And if you are have Windows 7 like I do, and you have uh, other machines, you, you know the domain that you're on is called Work Group. That is where all of your computers live, is on that workgroup domain. This will not go on workgroup do domain. It will, by default, uh, request its own domain. Now, I have searched high and low on how to do this and add this to the domain. You can, um, and one of the things that I did on, on one trial and error, and you're going to, in this video, going to see exactly how I solved this damn thing. It may take me all night. But I've done this already through two installs, two VM installs that I've just burned through that I'm going to unburn through. But here is the one thing that I did on, on the first install is, as this guy says, go in, you run this command, you reboot, then you remove roles and features, WSC experience, then reboot, and you're all good. You're set up on the work group. That is actually true. It works flawlessly. You've got internet and everything. Here's the problem. WSC experience is quite necessary to do server backups. 
If you get rid of Windows uh, Server Experience, you can kiss the um, the uh, dashboard and launch pad that you need to do automatic backups of your computer's goodbye. Recording. But anyway, if anybody listening to this, viewing this, is interested in how to get their VM to join their work group, if they have Windows environment, Windows 7 environment, Windows 8 environment, I don't know so much about Windows 10 environment. This video is for you because I'm going to go, I'm going to walk through how I went about doing that. Okay, so I have completed the install of Windows Server. And actually, what I didn't record is also, and if you see my previous video, you would have known that this is an extremely important part, um, is I have gone in already and installed the virtual the virtual drivers so I'm able to get network access and everything else that goes with that. So um, you can also see this is uh, still got the um, asterisk, which means, and I've also assigned this a, um, a local IP address. So immediately what this wants to do is it wants to begin the um, process of setting this up on its own domain so this is where i need to start looking at what my solutions are so these are the websites i'm looking at right now to see what i need to do and i believe when i did this once before i used these this is why i still have them accessed now notice it says windows uh, 2012 and these are actually fairly old 2013 so um, no what is that four or five years old or so five six seven eight yeah well it's 2019 but it's you know it's a long time ago um, however it looks like they began this issue with domain joining and um, having the server at the head of, of the domain and it causing problems with um, 2012 home server 2012 so um, these are all applicable you want to run these commands on the client machine but I actually want to need a command that you run on the server so that it can stay within the work group uh, domain and <clears throat> I didn't show you guys this before but I I will see if I can get it up now that right now if you can hear that that blowing sound is my other Nas coming up. All right, guys. So um, this is the proof of concept I was indicating. This is my old server. <clears throat> it is one. It is running Windows 2016, um, and um, it's just now booting up. But this has been backing up my system for I don't know how many months. Uh, I mean, how many years, but um, as you can see from the um, Ethernet square right there and this, it is connected. It has its own domain name, yet here it is. Look at that. 134. This is the IP address that is on my local network, and this is the default gateway, which is my gateway. You can yeah. see, it could still see my my domain. So home essential as you can see here guys and you can see here it is it has its own domain name um device man uh so it's not on the work group yet it is a part of the work group so somehow i did something to make this possible and i just have to find out a way to replicate that i have to find out a way to replicate that and see if i can um if I can get this to happen again. All right, so that's my goal.